Look at that! That is an S-Class solar ship! This ship has crashed from the get-go! It's an S-Class, and it's totally free! Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone! Jason here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to get an amazing crashed solar ship. That is an S-Class, by the way. It is an S-Class solar ship. So I want to give credit where credit is due. Again, I'm over at the NMS Coordinates Exchange over on Reddit. The NMS Coordinates Exchange over on Reddit. And this was a, was a post specifically from Mo, Mo Hinar, Mo Hinar over on Reddit. So all credit goes to him. He's the one who found it. I'm just going to show you guys how to go get it, where to go get it. So all credit goes to him. Let's get into the portal glyphs. So we're going to go with a... Uh, a dinosaur, sunrise, the spider, the black hole, the sunrise, a black hole, black hole, the starship, the hot air balloon, the flux capacitor, the moon, and the flux capacitor. And remember, this is in Euclid, the starting galaxy. So most of the time, 99% of the time, all these videos will be in Euclid. That way everybody can go get it. So as long as you started up the game, you can go get it. And before you go through that portal, remember, go to your network, turn off your multiplayer, disable that, and make your group invite only. Because it's a crashed ship, that means whoever claims it first gets it. Someone else gets in your game and claims it. It is theirs and you have to wait. Specifically, you would have to wait about 24 to 48 hours. So if someone claims it before you, like if you go there to the location and the ship is not there, you have to wait about 48 hours. So two actual days. So keep that in mind. That's why you want to turn it off. That way no one claims it in front of you. And we're getting our ship, and again, if you want the coordinates, you have to go into your uh, first-person mode. That way you can see inside of your cockpit. And then over here it says Sneaky Snake, plus 42.88 and negative 19.48. That is your uh, your location. That is your coordinates right now. We What we are looking for is negative 40.39 and plus 60.45. Now I'll just give you a hint. Once you get in your ship and you kind of move around, you'll see this yellow save beacon and some communication stations around there. Go towards that. It's going to be kind of, I'm guessing, the more uh, eastern part of the uh, planet once you get out of the uh, plant, uh, portal. But let's go over there and I'll show you the coordinates once we get there. So again, even if you have your multiplayer turned off like I do, it'll still show up as long as you're connected to the No Man's Sky servers. If you don't have any internet access, that will actually make it harder. So what I would say is use the coordinates. Use the coordinates that we said earlier. So that is a negative 40. You see over there on my uh, left side of the screen, negative 40.34 and plus 60.37. Use those coordinates and you'll be able to see this thing. It's almost in like a, uh, a crater. But look at this. There you go. It's kind of floating, which is cool, but okay. But let's check this thing out. Look at that. That is an S-Class solar ship. This ship has crashed from the get-go. It's an S-Class. It is totally free. A totally free ship. Now, remember, you can only have up to nine starships in your, in your uh, inventory. So if you have more than nine, you're going to have to swap it out. If not, like if you have less than that and you only have five then you're, you're gonna be able to claim it for free. It's a free ship, but if you're at the max limit, you gotta swap it like I am right now. Thankfully, I have a, uh, a save, a manual save, so we should be good. Now we're gonna need to fix it. We need to fix our pulse engine and our launch thruster. So just like the start of the game, you're gonna need a hermetic seal, a uh, metal plating, and you're also gonna need, is that it, I think? Oh, dihydrogen uh, jelly, of course. There we go. So now we can fix it. There we go. So now we can take off. If you want to, you can totally fix everything else too. You can fix your uh, your shields. That way it stops making that thwumping sound. There you go. You can fix whatever you want in here. Well, let's take off and look at these beautiful, beautiful sails. I love doing this in first person. Look at this. Look at these sails. They're going to stretch out. The wings stretch out. 
And then once you get in the space, your sails actually come out. So let's go up there. Look at that. That is so cool. We have green crescent sails. So the green half moon sails. And if you're in first person, like if you like to play in first person, this is what it looks like on the inside. Very cool cockpit. For the most part, almost the same. It's just the windows will be different. But what you really are here to see is the outside, right? So let's back up. Oh, let's move that sun a little bit to get a good angle on this thing. Look at that S-Class Starship. Look at that S-Class Solar Starship. I love this thing. It has the Raven nose on it. I love that. Green crescent sails. This is a beautiful, beautiful ship. You could take it to the space station. You could fix it up there. Or you could just scrap it and get your S-Class upgrades if you want to. So I'm in love with this thing. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Hopefully you guys are liking the video. If you did, hit that like button and I will see you guys next time.